China and Belarus called for a ceasefire and negotiations to end the war between Russia and Ukraine as leaders of the two countries meet in Beijing to improve their relations. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko is in the midst of a three-day visit to Beijing to meet with Chinese President Xi Jinping and potentially reach an agreement for their countries to cooperate on key areas. The visit has rattled some in the United States and other Western allies of Ukraine as China increases its ties to Belarus, which has been one of the only countries in the world to openly stand by Russia amid its invasion of Ukraine. The two leaders essentially endorsed the 12-point plan for settling the conflict that China revealed last week, which calls for proposals like respecting all other countries' sovereignty, resuming peace talks, and effectively protecting civilians to resolve the humanitarian crisis that the war has caused. The core of China's stance is to call for peace and encourage talks, and for the legitimate security concerns of all countries to be respected, Chinese state broadcast CCTV quoted Jing, um, Zay is saying. CCTV reported that Lukashenko said he fully agrees with and supports China's plan. Zay also reportedly called on countries throughout the world to stop using economic conditions to influence what happens in the conflict. An apparent reference to the sanctions that the U.S. and other allies of Ukraine have placed on Russia since the war began. The Chinese peace plan also called for an end to unilateral sanctions that were not authorized by the United Nations Security Council. The council could place sanctions on a country, but Russia would have the power to veto any sanctions as a permanent member, restricting the, can the council's ability to act. Relevant countries should stop politicizing and using the world economy as their tool and take measures that truly advance a ceasefire and stop to war. I mean, yeah, they, the Hill loves having these little spelling errors. Uh, to stop the war and resolve the crisis peacefully, Zay said. China has officially been neutral throughout the war, but U.S. has accused Beijing of sending non-lethal aid to Russia and potentially planning to send lethal aid. The Chinese government has denied this, but the U.S. has warned that any lethal aid sent to Russia would be met with consequences. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky indicated at a press conference last week that he is somewhat open to working with China on his proposal. He said he wants to meet with Zay. President Biden has criticized the plan as only designed to help Russia, arguing that China negotiating a, solu a resolution to the conflict is not rational. So, when Blinken, our terrific, hardworking, iconic Secretary of State, uh, came and said, oh, uh, China's planning to give Russia lethal assistance, I doubted it because China's not really known for having its nose deeply involved in military conflicts like we are, for example. So we, you know, like when people criticize the Chinese government for human rights abuses, um, you know, like with the Muslims, for example, that's all fair and, you know, stuff I can side with. But I was pretty convinced China probably wasn't going to get involved in that way and that Blinken and the rest of the Western agitators were full of crap. So, um, their proposal, like Biden saying that it's not rational for China to be the one to negotiate, I, I also think is goofy because um, Russia is the aggressor here. And I think it makes sense of any for any country that's going to try and act like it's doing something halfway in the interest of Russia to be one that it's allies with. So the U.S. negotiating it, for example to me would not be rational because we're so heavily pro Ukraine that anything we do probably would be considered as, you know, appeasement for um Ukraine as opposed to trying to like be balanced whereas I think with China because they're allies with Russia and not so much involved with the conflict as a lot of other regions uh you know like in terms of taking a side or being opposed to it they're they're more likely to have a, a pull um but just to kind of get into some of the specifics of this of this plan. So proposals like respecting all country sovereignty. It, it's hard for me to see Russia agreeing to that if Putin is in power and he wants to. I mean, he started this conflict clearly not caring about the sovereignty of Ukraine. So I, I, I can't see him signing it over. And. Um. My favorite part is protecting civilians to resolve humanitarian uh, 
issues because there have been a lot of people that have been displaced and and you know just anytime you have wars that that happens but that part of it i think if um you know that was more stressed i'd be a lot further in terms of thinking this might go somewhere um i don't know it just it it just seems like there's there's really no way to guarantee that this is going to end anytime soon i mean russia's doing this with pretty much the disapproval of damn near the whole world except um belarus and even one of its closest allies is trying to just kind of stay in the middle and not get too involved so i'm gonna say i like china's plan more than anything else because it seems like it has a timetable like it actually has some kind of conclusion it's trying to reach um but i don't it, it's it's too murky i can't guarantee that it's it's something that's actually going to see a resolution so maybe the the u.s will um well we're already involved to the point of ridiculousness but i i'd say we're probably going to try to play some role in that as well yeah putin is um is, is just a difficult figure for me to figure out I, I don't know what 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 all course they should take i i think china's proposal though probably sounds the best from what i've heard um although there there is because you, you know how americans are china has human rights abuses yes we, we we can we can dislike the um inter politics of a country but like a proposal they have for something that's going to end a war which is why i hope the proposal succeeds i'd rather this work as opposed to you know more bombings and firing squads and all the rest of that inhumane trash 